very sweet. The wrap up of each character is a gift to the audience. People who love a certain character, I think will love how we all go off into the sunset. In her own skin. <laughs> I mean, she's in Pawnee. She's doing the Regal Meagle thing. So she's not in the Parks Department anymore. She's making those Benjamins on her own. It's between The Good Wife and Scandal. Every time I bring up The Good Wife, people are like, oh, you should be a judge. And I'm like, that's so cliche. I want to spar with Alicia. I know I would have to lose, but I want to. And I want to have a one-on-one -on -one scene with Carrie. Oh, there's so many. Shonda Rhimes, Julie Pleck, Judd Apatow. I've had so many people like comment on stuff, then they're like, you're so funny. And I'm like, you know I exist. That's amazing. I've said this so many times, but Nick Offerman farts the most. He'll make a fart sound to warn us, and then he farts. <laughs> he goes, Retta, Parks and Recreation. The wrap up of each character is a gift to the audience. People who love a certain character, I think will love how we all go off into the sunset. In her own skin. <laughs> I mean, she's in Pawnee. She's doing the Regal Meagle thing. So she's not in the Parks Department anymore. She's making those Benjamins on her own. It's between The Good Wife and Scandal. Every time I bring up The Good Wife, people are like, oh, you should be a judge. And I'm like, that's so cliche. I want to spar with Alicia. I know I would have to lose, but I want to. And I want to have a one-on-one -on -one scene with Carrie. Oh, there's so many. Shonda Rhimes, Julie Pleck, Judd Apatow. I've had so many people like comment on stuff, then they're like, you're so funny. And I'm like, you know I exist. That's amazing. I've said this so many times, but Nick Offerman farts the most. He'll make a fart sound to warn us and then he farts. <laughs> he goes, Retta, Parks and Recreation. <laughs>